real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Christina Stewart says soon after she moved in next door to the defendant, he started sexually harassing her. Christina suing because she loaned her car to the defendant's fiance, but the defendant drove it and wrecked it. Defendant Leo Adams says Christina has always had a thing for him, and she never rejected his advances. Leo says he once rubbed on Christina's leg, and she allowed him to do it. And he insists Christina gave him the keys when she knew he'd been drinking and had no license. Tell me what happened. Okay, well, it all started um, in 2009 when I bought a condo. Um, I met Leo shortly after. The first time, actually the first encounter I had with him was him banging on my door, um, drunk, slurred speech, belligerent, um, asking me to hide him from the police, actually. Mm -hmm. um, his fiance and him had had a fight. Uh, we found out shortly after that they were going through some financial mm -hmm. difficulties. Um, they had their car repossessed. They were going to lose their condo. I felt really bad for them. Um, How did you find all that out? They told us. We okay. became kind of friends. You mm -hmm. know, I really enjoyed the company of his fiance. She's a, a really great girl. Right. Um, the sexual advances started soon after. Um, he was constantly telling me, oh, you look good. Oh, I can do this for you. Oh, I have this nice big thing that I can't really say oh, on TV. Man. <laughs> um, that's, that's not and I would just laugh it off. I mean, he's old enough to be my father. On you know, obviously, yeah, I man. want nothing to do with him. Um, he actually told me at one point that he thought I was a lesbian. I don't know if that was kind of a sick fantasy he had, or just because I didn't want him. As I said, he's older. What did you, you say? Know, I told him he's crazy, you know, him. just because I don't want you yes, she was. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> so I'm going to allow you to respond to this sexual harassment toward this woman. Okay, so Christina, she, she's always had a thing for me since I first, <laughs> since I first, since I first met her. Oh, since I first so met true. her. And, and not what did she do to show her thing for you? Oh, because because I would call her and tell her to come give me a ride instead of her sending her husband to give me a ride. She would. Now, what come. would she say to you? I don't oh, care about giving you oh, a ride, your she, misinterpretation, she, she, she or said, your fantasies, she said, like she's saying. She said, I'll be there. No, honey. about being with you, about hitting on you. You said the woman wanted to be with you. Yes, she, what did she because, say? Because I made advances to her. Did she, she, didn't, say? she didn't refuse me. Oh, because she didn't refuse you. She didn't you. refuse me. Because I, she didn't I have you locked up for sexual her harassment, her or because she didn't have her husband come bust your head in two, you thought she wanted you. Well, she, sir, it's obvious that she won. No, nothing me. obvious. Plaintiff Christina Stewart is suing her neighbor, who claims Christina has always had a thing for him. But Christina denies it and says the defendant sexually harassed her. Go ahead, ma'am. What so, else you want um, me to know? Today, basically, what we're here about is um, his, as I said, they were having financial difficulty. Um, his fiance asked to borrow my car to go to an interview. Um, I agreed to let her borrow the car to go to the interview. I was actually on a field trip with my daughter that day to the zoo with her school. Um, I get back from the field trip and I find out that Leo actually wrecked my car. And the first thing I'm thinking is why was Leo even driving the car? It was supposed to be his fiance driving to go well, to an you interview. Give me the keys? No, if that's you know not I don't true. Have no life, you know so, I let me hear um, from you now. I'll get back to you. Let okay, me give some background ahead. first, and then we'll get back to the car okay, damages. Leaving off where she where she started. Why would she give me the keys if she know that I that I that I drink and I didn't have no license? I and my, and my I fiance didn't. standing right she beside didn't say me. That and she hand, she hand, hand no, me I the keys. Not. She hand me the keys. You were drunk. I had been drinking, yes, sir. So why would you take the keys and drive drunk? That was, that was a bad judgment on okay, my part. Okay, well, you're going to have to pay for it, too. I'm, I'm paying for it now, sir. No, you're not. Not yet. It's I'm when I say for judgment it. for the plaintiff <laughs> no, is when you're paying no, for it. No. You're about well, I don't to. Th I don't think you, her, her word is not credible. You admit it. Her word Did is you not hear? credible. You just admitted it. You but, just but admitted she, she that you drove drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. about her word. You just admit it. And I said, why would you I, I drive drunk? You said, I, I made a mistake I and drunk. I'm paying for it. Your Honor, I did not say I was drunk. What else I you said I've been drinking. Go ahead. So I was trying to be a good neighbor and help my neighbor out. Um, so I let her borrow the car. Um, 
and I find out it's wrecked. I have pictures of the you damage it, to the car. Where were they to go with your car? Um, or she? she was supposed to go to an interview. I believe it was in the Cincinnati. The old interview game. Go ahead. That happened to you, didn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Close relative of mine just coming out of drug rehab. I'm right out of college, got my new car. Brand new. Brand spanking new. Let me go to use the car to go for an interview. I get the call. A couple hours later, the car has been totaled, leaving the crack house. That job interview was a crack purchase. No. That totaled my car, kept me in debt for years because he wasn't insured, of course. He certainly wasn't insured to drive on crack. <laughs> So I feel for you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Your Honor. But at least you have a car left. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. So did you have him arrested? The police actually came to my house. Um, what had happened is Leo had hit a Pepsi truck um, from the rear. The guy was on the job, obviously. Um, apparently, he got out and told the Pepsi driver, I've been drinking. Please don't call the police. Got back in the car brought it to my house and left it parked. So the police come to my house and they say, ma'am, your vehicle was involved in an accident um, and told me what had happened. Um, thank goodness the Pepsi driver had given them um, an uh, identification of the, the man but driving. But was he prosecuted and convicted? Oh, yes, I have a police report right. right here. Plaintiff Christina Stewart is suing her neighbor who claims Christina has always had a thing for him. But Christina denies it and says the defendant sexually harassed her. Were you sentenced? Yes, sir. What was your sentence? Cash. They charged Just the me pay? money. They, yes, sir. They charged me money. And plus, they dropped the fleeing, the hidden and fleeing. Just money? Just a fine? Yes, sir. Okay. Just you weren't fine. ordered to go to any type of alcohol treatment? I go, I go, I go to eight, eight, eight hours of class to get my license were you back. Or, so you were ordered. So it wasn't just money. You were also ordered to go. That's the first for, offense. That's, judge me for the plaintiff. I'm not going to sit up here and <laughs> deal with this. He uh, clearly did it. His only defense is you gave him the keys. You say you didn't. But even if you had given it to him, you did not give it to him to commit an illegal act. And an illegal act is him driving drunk. And he's very confused or just straight out lying about his sentence. First, he said it was only a fine. And I know uh, that courts these days do not just issue fines for drunk drivers. They usually also require them to go through some type of uh, alcohol-related treatment or classes, as he's finally admitted. If you know uh, I would hope, be asking? quiet, be quiet. I would hope, because you still sound like a drunk. I would hope that if any other judges have him come before them who have the jurisdiction, which I do not have, that they would sentence him to inpatient alcohol treatment because it doesn't seem like those classes you went to are working. You clearly sound like you still have an alcohol problem. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day, and I hope that judge knows better next time to put Thank you in you. treatment. Um, Leo, I just, I really would like for you to get help. I think that you're a great guy when you're not drinking. I feel sorry for you, honestly, and I hope that you get the help that you need. So I, I, just, just from her, her family sources, they told me that she had a heroin problem. That's not so true. you know she's gonna go through any, any extreme to get money. She, she just called me a week ago to borrow money from me, and I sent, and I sent the money to my, my girl. Went downstairs to give her the money, cause I didn't want to see her. <laughs>